I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when well, you fold the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour. Replicate epic scenes from the Creed War. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Fierce some foes, fighting in the picture perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out to the shooter show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds cool, cooler like my man Zoe. Took the everyday display, gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. That's crispy. Uh, one more thing, I guess I forgot to mention. The uh, ACBA merchandise site um, is almost complete. I put the link back on my channel on the right side. It will still say that it's under maintenance or under construction. But big shout out to my man Ty Star, Ty Figures. He's been uh, helping behind the scenes. Uh, getting the site situated and it's looking really really nice and I'm gonna be taking one final order off of the site uh, Before we actually put the site back up. So anybody interested in ACBA shirts or stickers Or even the new designs if you got a chance to peep them in the Facebook group then, then let me know It's an opportunity for you to get the shirts for a little cheaper before they go up on the site and uh, you just gotta pay the shipping and stuff. What I've been doing all of this time is just shipping exactly at cost. So nobody's been overpaying or underpaying. Um, so again, just hit me up behind the scenes if you're interested in that. And a uh, big shout out and thanks to my man Ty Star for all the help. I appreciate you, brother. All right, y'all. Package! Package! All right, that was a package from my man Al Rocks A Lot. Uh, sent the um, nice little donation here for the FSP. Got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Raphael on card. Uh, I'm gonna take this out because he took the uh, took the uh, base out of here. So I'm gonna just take it out. But this is a Marvel Select uh, Wolverine. I don't know where this Green Lantern is from. Marvel Select um, Marvel Girl, Aqualad there, uh, the Batman and Catwoman. I don't know if that's from Arkham City or Arkham Asylum, but it's from that video game. Uh, but those are cool. Those came in a two pack, I believe. Uh, then the uh, upper torso for Annihilus, and I believe the right arm for Nemesis. So a really nice donation. Uh, get some more, get us closer to some more baths and the, and the uh, FSP or completing some. And these will go together with some nice packages. I think I got some other Marvel Select stuff that I could pair with that. But uh, big thanks to my man Al. Appreciate you, brother. And for the record, I didn't forget about the FSP. I'm behind as usual, but I never forget. I'm always packaging up stuff. This has actually been packaged and ready to go. This is the December one. This is chock full of stuff in here. Uh, and I've been uh, putting together the January one, which is going to have some... Uh, let's see if I can get this. Some nice uh, customizing stuff, some foam uh, that my man uh, Configure has sent a long time ago. He had also sent some uh, some paints. And there's another uh, backdrop from my man uh, 118th Universe that you could paint. This is going to be a nice little uh, diorama set. Somebody could get their uh, arts and crafts on, but it'll be some figures and stuff in there too. So uh, getting it together, I'll be doing both the December and January uh, in the next uh, week or so in one video. <laughs> A little uh, recap vid for the 2013 uh, Toy Fair. Talking about it and stuff. I totally forgot to mention that. I don't know where the heck they... Uh, the Moonstone is, or the Miss Marvel Moonstone, to complete our Dark Avengers. They showed a prototype for Miss Marvel Moonstone. It actually wasn't even Miss Marvel Moonstone. It was Moonstone in her Thunderbolts costume, the costume that she was rocking when Norman was uh, was leading the Thunderbolts. And I assumed that they would do a running change of her in her Miss Marvel Moonstone outfit to go along with the Dark Avengers, but they didn't show anything about that at Toy Fair. Um, 2013 they didn't show any of the females with that new proposed uh, body mold so I don't know what's going on with that but I'm eager to get <clears throat> Sentry and replace him with this guy because this guy was too small I feel like he should be a little uh, taller and almost about the same size and height as Ares and then I'm interested in getting that Hawkeye and then we just need a Miss Marvel um, pretty much 
So yeah, I meant that they showed Miss Marvel at SDCC last year. They didn't show her at the 2013 Toy Fair. That's what I meant. They, like I said, they didn't show any of the any new uh, females with that new proposed uh, medium build uh, female mold. So I'm not sure if they scrapped that altogether or if they're still working on it or what's going on. But I, I do know that Hasbro's distribution is just horrible. I don't know what the problem is what the major malfunction is but you know they're showing all of these new figures and our iron man legends have actually officially hit retail and targets and toys r us i see a lot of people buying those and we still haven't seen the running changes from wave three or wave four so uh i don't know what's going on man there's no explanation from them as to as to what's happening i just think it's just bad business man as long as we get that Miss Marvel Moonstone, I could care less about them completing, officially completing the Dark Avengers and doing uh, Marvel Boy and his and his uniform that he had when he was with them for a brief moment. I mean, he wasn't really with them with them, so that don't bother me. As long as we get the core team, uh, you know, we get to replace this this uh, uh, Sentry and get Miss Marvel Moonstone and get the Hawkeye, then I'm good. I'm I'm totally good with that. Dark Avengers was definitely one of the best, uh, one of Marvel's best uh, runs over the past like five, six, seven years. Right now, I don't even know what the heck they're doing in comic books right now. It's just terrible, and that new Dark Avengers was just not that great either. So, bag it, you box. So this was a package from my man Mad Gus. He was out and about. He grabbed the uh, first three figures from the iron manga wave for himself and uh asked me if i needed anything this was the only one i needed i had the iron patriot and the uh and the uh uh bleeding edge iron man already so i got this so that gets me halfway complete with the iron manga and then we're just waiting for the other half and those other horrible figures to complete iron manga but big thanks to my man mag us appreciate you brother so that's three of six that i need to complete the iron manga uh, like I said, not really too interested in the next three figures. I think they all suck. Um, but I do want to complete the Iron Monger, even though he was not uh, as big as they said he was going to be. But what you going to do? I think this figure came out pretty nice, the classic Iron Man here. Uh, you can uh, definitely pop off the hands, but they didn't give you any extra interchangeable hands. And you could use the hands from the other original Iron Man that you got in the two-pack, but of course they're not going to match because this color scheme is different. So, uh, Hasbro continues to, uh, to half-step, um, but uh, again, I do like the, the color scheme of this one. It does look much, much better than the original two-pack version. I got some uh, uh, Siege uh, stuff going on right here, just a portion of the, the uh, good guy side and the battle uh, in Siege, and, uh, and that's it. Moving right along. I keep getting asked a question about the stands. Stands, you can use them in so many different type of ways. First and foremost, I get them from JRA Nightmare. You have to hit them up if you're interested in getting these stands. Or you can uh, look at a, a video that was made by uh, by my man, the Stash Bin. He has a little tutorial on how you can make your own stands, actually. Now, the ones that the Stash Bin made are not as durable as the ones that you see here from JRA Nightmare, but they serve the purpose. If you know how to pose, if you know how to balance out the weight, then you could do it. So I pre-posed uh, these two figures here. Um, because I was looking at the comic book and I posed them exactly how I saw it in the comic book or as, or as close as I could get to it, you know, that is the essence of ACBA. So one way that you could work with the stand, you can actually just uh, prop the, the uh, character up by the arm. It doesn't always have to be in a peg hole. There's so many different ways you could use it. So right here, I'm going to prop Captain America up uh, by his arm. All right, so we got Captain America up there pretty good. I am uh, reenacting a little scene here from a uh, siege, and I already pre-posed Iron Patriot because <clears throat> uh, again I was looking at the actual comic book, and you see I just put that right in the sweet spot, right in the middle of his back. He has no peg hole, but if you balance it, his foot is actually uh, in the uh, right at the front of it, so it's being supported by that left foot, and it's right in the sweet spot. He's He's sturdy. Everything's good there. So we got a good motion there. Looks like he is actually being hit by something. 
And then we just gotta try to get this here, like so. Pretty good as far as hiding. Captain America stand, I can move him back a bit too. Wanna make sure that the line of sight is good. So actually looking at him. Never really got any shots with this when it was the top of my uh, detox. Just revisiting this little display. Getting some shots and uh, dusting and rearranging. So that first story arc after Siege ended uh, in the main book of Avengers, the first Heroic Age uh, storyline uh, where they had to uh, kind of time travel, I thought it was pretty good. I think I've said this before on MTRT when I first read it, but I'm not usually a fan of the time travel stuff, but I thought it was handled pretty well. I didn't particularly care for the art, uh, but they had Norvar build him a, a time device, or him and Tony kind of got together to build a time device. I guess he did most of the work though. And uh, the first one got destroyed and then he had to build another one so they could go and see what was going on with Kang. Kang had summoned them from the from the future uh, where Ultron had kind of defeated everybody. And I thought it was a, a pretty, pretty good um, story. Um, I thought the characters were pretty spot on, but again, I just didn't really like the art too much. So that's what I was kind of going for here. Just a little scene uh, from that. up a bit at the newest uh, painted version of Iron Man in there. I gotta get our head facing forward. Wasp that is. Just cleaned this up, dusted it. Need to add back Wonder Man and Ant-Man. So that's why Ant-Man is not up there. I don't know where the front part of the crotch is. Somewhere on the floor down here. So, you know, every couple of months you gotta do this. <clears throat> gotta go through your stuff and dust and Change stuff around, so that's what I'm doing. I'm making sure that I got one of every character that I have represented in the main display somehow. That way I can see what I have doubles and triples of and put the best loose version of whatever I have out in the detail. And then uh, make sure everything else is packed away nicely. So for instance, I got an apocalypse up there in that villain's display. No need to have two out. That's my second one, and this is the better one, better of the two. Uh, and you know, I got a Venom represented, so I'll leave that Venom there. So on and so forth. Might do something with this Icon's Venom too. Doom box. Bunch of different dooms. Make sure I put Ares back at the top so I can remember to try to get that leg. Need that left leg so I can put him with my Dark Avengers once I get this new Sentry. I'll put my other Ares with my uh, shield Mighty Avengers setup. There's that balancing again, just using the stance, just got it right in the sweet spot in the middle of Spider Man's stomach using that ab crunch. It looks like he's trying to jump away from Lizard, and Lizard is jumping, and I just have that stance stuck up in his coat. So, you know, from certain angles, you can't really even see the stand like that. But I'm just messing around here as I rearrange and Put stuff back, getting some pictures and some video. Just beefing up MTIT. So not happy that they're using this body for that Ultron, this Titanium Man body. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna get a classic Legends 
um, scale Ultron. I mean, I think the select works fine now, honestly, but uh, we got that horrible, horrible Ultron from the uh, Legendary Rider series from Toy Biz. And now we're going to get this titanium mold Ultron. So, totally forgot I had this beetle figure too. So I see the <clears throat> the Marvel Select Venom popping up on the page a lot. A lot of people got that. Um, I'm liking the way it looks. I'm not in a super hurry to get it. I will grab it when I can, but I really, really do like the way it looks, though. It looks really good. Got a little Miss Marvel in the brood action here. It's a classic. I've been doing this one for years. Just messing around with some light and then some different effects and stuff like that. Snapping some flicks. Uh, from what I can see, this looks pretty cool. We'll see how it'll come out. Added a little effect on the arm there. See how that's gonna come out. So the concept of this has pretty much stayed the same. Hydra meeting, upper management of Hydra. Uh, but you know, I kind of like to do like a collage of things when I'm in my main display. Some some people not really, you know, facing towards the action. And Zemo may not even really be part of this whole thing right here. I don't even know. It's just a little collage. These two guys back there arguing. It's the only two open mouth uh, Hydra soldiers I have in this one. And then I usually do something like this just to kind of separate the scene a little bit. And we got some intelligentsia people and that random Hydra guy back there. This is pretty much stayed the same too. Electra and all my red hand ninjas. That's all the red hand ninjas I have. And we got Marvel Knights people here. Old school. And this is pretty much the same. Well, it's not really the same. I changed it a little bit, but all my shield agents. This is Mighty Avengers era. One of my favorite Avengers eras. Always say that. Uh, so I think this is all my females minus maybe Sharon Carter who I have in another display in this body that I got on Widow here. Doing this next. I'm gonna finish this up. Heroic Age. This is from that first story arc and uh the main book of Avengers, I gotta get something in here, hand there that looks like that device that he had. Everybody's kinda like, oh, well, back off. He's got the, the device, whatever it was, I forgot what it was. And this is random, hell. Changed up in here a bit, some Hulk stuff, Hulk villains, got Gremlin and the Butthead leader, Abomination, uh, the Toy Biz uh, Absorber Man. And these guys just kind of looking and it's bleeding into this Hulk versus Deadpool looking at that Hulk. Are they all looking at Wolverine? And she's just randomly here right now. But again, you know, I go for like a huge collage in my main display. That's pretty much what's going on here. This is still the same. This, I took a top, I uh, took it off the top of my Detolf and got it inside the Detolf. So I'm pretty happy about that. Got the uh, white hand ninjas advancing on Daredevil and Wolverine here. Still got to tweak this a bit. Got Daredevil kicking that one dude. But I like the look of it. Even with some of the stands visible, you know, sometimes when you posing properly, it's all good. So got a few things on ice. All of the DBZ figures have been open except that extra Gohan. <clears throat> so a little more work with the stands. Showing you how it's done. I've said this many, many times in MTIT before. When I start to build a display, it's almost like a, like a puzzle. Almost. And each part is supported by the next part. So we got one stand right under the crevice and, the, and is uh, in between the back of his uh, kneecap. One sticking up in the hair. He is extremely sturdy by himself. He could stand. Then I've got a different kind of uh, <clears throat> stand there, holding him at the pelvis. And he's got his arm, his fist resting in, in there. 
any other arm resting on the other window window goes on and one staying under his leg but this is very sturdy stayed up overnight it's not moving this is not going anywhere and that's the beginning of what could be a really dope display and that's a bit sloppy I wouldn't usually let the stands overlap but just trying to really get the angle right but you get the picture Sometimes you need no stands at all, no support at all to make something cool. I actually been getting rid of a lot of like different figures here and there. I got rid of some uh, some MUs. I got rid of all my Frost Giants, believe it or not. But I did help hold on to a few select three and three quarter inch figures. A little Dark Rain, Dark Avengers stuff going on here. I got the Icons Venom. With the Marvel Universe Iron Patriot and the Showdown Spider Man. So, just messing with some scaling here. Uh, you know, doing the dark rain. Uh, Venom was doing this Hulk out thing so he could grow. And I had to use the Icons Venom with even six inch figures before, but it looks massive right here with the, uh, with the uh, three and three quarter inch figures and him holding Spider Man down like he's about to bite him. Norman is like, chill, baby. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Still got the three and three quarter inch docking too. The mechanics of this figure is just horrible. You know, making it look good right here. But I, I really don't even like the way the figure works or with the three claws and and I only got one of them and I'm tempted to cut off the claws of this one and I probably wouldn't even go out of my way to get another one. But you know, for the purpose of taking pictures and whatnot, then then it's all good. It looks pretty good right here. But I just can't stand the way the upper body moves and the arms don't go down to the side and whatever. But nine times out of ten, when I'm doing all of my rearranging and dusting my shelves and stuff like that, however, I'm gonna set stuff up into my detox. I usually get some video and some picture of it uh, first, and then I'll just add it into the detox just the way it is. So I'll probably be adding this into the detox. Uh, just to give it a little different flavor with the three and three quarter inch stuff and because I wanted to uh, this Venom was taking up a lot of space in my villains box too so but just so you can see this is simple I didn't show the, the bottom of the construction paper because it'll give it more depth if you don't see that red construction paper in the background you know it's the posing that's really good and then one little light right here I uh, broke my tripod that sticks onto the other tripod, so now I got some bootleg thing going on here with some boxes and stuff and a chair. <laughs> but whatever, however you could do it, you guys would have had no clue that it was. That's that's what it was. What it set up like this though. Messing with another MSD right here. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Another one that I like to do a lot. The uh, three and three quarter inch Marvel. Universe Wrecking Crew versus the Marvel Legends Giant Man. They got him knocked out or dead or something. So this looked pretty cool. Out of, out of all four of them, the only one that was really any good as far as the Wrecking Crew dudes is the Wrecker. I figure came out real nice. The rest of these is kind of iffy, but they was from a time when Marvel Universe was totally horrible before it start getting better. Right, some different angling with the lighting. Back! So taking a look here at the PP05M Eye Gear Medical Specialist AKA Ratchet, but of course they cannot name him Ratchet or else Hasbro will not take a liking to that. So, um, really nice figure. Uh, this is the vehicle mode, obviously. Take a look at that. Only moving parts in the vehicle mode, obviously, is it can roll, no problem there. And the windows can go out and in. Got the blacked out windows. I want to see who's inside of there. 
That's embarrassing, going to the hospital and everybody looking at you. Here's the back. Take a look at the underbelly. Everything's tucked in there nicely. You can see what this is gonna be the some type of gun or something there, I guess. See the mirror there. It's not reflective, but they did do it with like a sorta of kinda reflective paint. I mean, you can't really see your reflection in it, but uh, still pretty good. Here he is alongside the Art Feather Bumblebee. You know, part of the reason that I'm grabbing some of these other uh, classic Transformers is just so they'll be in scale with my Masterpiece Optimus and I could build that. Uh, the core Autobots team. So the, the, both of these are about the same length, obviously. Uh, the Ratchet here is a little uh, taller, a little larger in height. Or the Medical Specialist, shall I say. There he is alongside Optimus, minus the trailer. But you can see that. Everything's looking extremely accurate on the figure. Paint is on point. Everything is really, really neat. The red line here, the uh, blue cross symbol, the ambulance written across the front. Everything is clean. It looks great. So here he is in his uh, robot mode. I'm getting maybe a little bit too much light, but. Uh, looking good, man. One thing I forgot to mention that it, it is extremely accurate. The figure is extremely accurate, aside from the fact that there are no Autobot symbols on them. Obviously, they're not allowed to do that. Now, with the Eye Gear, um, I'm sorry, with the uh, Art Feather Bumblebee, they actually uh, put in some stickers. Let me grab that real quick. So I'm sure there's some extra ones that I'll be able to just apply to this particular figure. Now I'm not sure what the difference is between Art Feather and from Eye Gear and why Art Feather can include these stickers and put Bumblebee on it and uh, and uh, and Eye Gear cannot. I'm not sure exactly how that works. You know I'm not a huge Transformers collector so anybody in the comments you know just let me know what's up with that. But uh, going over the articulation real quick. The head doesn't move down as much as I would like or up but it does do a full 360. Uh, he moves out at the, at the uh, <clears throat> shoulder here. Uh, the shoulder can rotate up and down, but this part here does not go out. It's just inside that part the arm goes out. Uh, the elbow is pretty much double jointed. Uh, it can rotate uh, at the uh, upper uh, bicep, I guess you could say. He does have rotation at the wrist, um, but you get a pretty good range of motion on the arms. He can move at the waist. Uh, the knees are pretty much, um, they are... I guess you could say they double jointed, but it is hindered a bit uh, by this in the back. <clears throat> Does have some toe articulation or foot articulation. It is kind of on a pivot, uh, so you can work that. Same thing on this side with the arms and the legs. Pretty good articulation. I mean, as as best as you're going to get from from a transformer. Uh, I mean, it is possible to actually get them in some dynamic poses, which I'll try to uh, incorporate in uh, in the next couple of videos. I'm running out of time in this video right now. Um, you can rotate here at the uh, at what would be the knee, I guess, too. So, pretty good range of motion, like I said. Here Decent. Alongside Bumblebee in uh, robot mode. So, as you can see, I still need to add the Autobot symbols to both of them. Um, I hope I got them both transformed correctly. You know, I'm still getting back into the swing of things with Transformers. I haven't been transforming a Transformer in over 20 years. So, if you see something that's out of place or that needs to be tucked in properly, then you could kindly let me know in the comments somebody had uh, made a comment about bumblebee last week and about the doors but i don't think i could like remove them off the arms like that i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm definitely taking notes and listening to what people are saying no question about that okay this has been another episode of meantime and between time don't forget to rate comment and subscribe don't forget to check out big bad toy store for all your collectible needs the link to big bad toy store is in the description it is in the underbar check that out now and i will talk to you guys in another week or so Peace.